nocturne with music and candles. The CD of Handel's Concerti Grossi, <laughs> Opus 3, numbers 1 to 6, plays as the sun begins to set below the winter horizon, DST. My wife has lighted five candles, three floating in water in a three-legged crystal bowl on the Chinese teak table, two on tall brass Chinese candlesticks on the black wood sideboard. <clears throat> the sun is going. Darkness tries to take dominion, but five flame reflections hold it at bay. Three through water, then crystal to polished teak. Two on two glass-covered pictures on the wall above two tall candles with flames guttering deep inside wax columns, making more intense the subjects in oil and watercolor a passageway and water-washed rocks. <clears throat> Handles six concerti grossi, five reflected flames, make this room <coughs> contract, yet still sufficient for closely considered musing. I float free on every note of Handel's music as a dust mote drifts in the last few slanting rays of the sun. In trance. Telling snow. Its sculptured lines tell better than grass the winds that pass now and did so yesterday. Its joining of separate spaces into one tells of distances beyond this garden, of unmarked fields, mountains, <coughs> frozen expanses of fixed polar seas. Here, in this garden, I see design I intend to read as mystery. Impressed in snow, a winged shape, an angel form, tells a fallen body or creature flung to make my garden holy, other ground. No telltale tracks, no hint of warmth belie the cold, crisp incision. I intend to read it still as a mystery expressed. <coughs>
Bloom spins his apple world on page 31. Adam spins his apple world. He holds the stem of offered apple firmly with thumb and index finger of his left hand. Then with right, turns, turns it as if on an axis fixed. A small apple planet. Out comes the little stick, cleanly, leaving no north pole, reminder of a parent tree. He turns his apple upside down, examines closely its south pole. Summer days, bees back to blossom beginning. Now between thumb and index finger of his right hand, thumb at south and finger north, he spins it with fingers sinister, contemplating if, when, and where to begin to devour and share. <laughs> Thank you. 